first a community grieves together after a mother and daughter are killed in a home invasion in Burlington County. Good evening. I'm Aziza Schuler. Dozens attended a vigil in Willingboro tonight in honor of Catherine and Marisol Nunez. It comes just hours after an arrest in the case. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Eva Anderson was there. In front of the home on Harrington Circle, where 33-year-old Catherine Nunez and her mother Marisol Nunez were shot and killed just days before, family members came from out of town to remember them. Marisol and Catherine were the epitome of goodness. Wednesday, police found both women shot to death inside the home where Catherine lived with her 8-year-old son. Her mother had been visiting. Police have accused the child's father, Junior Edwards, of murdering both women. They say he broke in through a window in the early hours of Wednesday morning. They say the child, who was home at the time, was not injured and a gun was found outside. They're both beautiful souls and... Uh, they didn't deserve this. Joseph Puig, Marisol's brother-in-law, remembered both women, saying they both loved music and dancing. He said the 54-year-old Marisol, who went by Morena, attended church every Sunday. And Catherine's boyfriend, Joshua Jackson, said she had a strong work ethic. I don't have enough nice things to say about her. She was a great mother. She, um, she loved her son. You know, always was doing everything for his son. The family says the young boy is currently in the custody of the state while the investigation continues. We're here today to just pour love on the family. As night fell, dozens of community members joined the family for a vigil. Sister Marisol, Sister Catherine, and lift up their names in prayer. And prayers for your for the son. We got to make sure we lift him up in spirits too. The community vowed to wrap the family in love and honor the lives of Catherine and Marisol as they seek justice. The family is making funeral arrangements for Thursday and Friday in Brooklyn, New York. Reporting in Willingboro, Eva Anderson, CBS News, Philadelphia.